for the ICS, he gets in on a recommendation given by the Viceroy of India. There, I don't think there, there's any other ICS officer who was selected because of a recommendation from the Viceroy. And there were very few people in the ICS who actually studied at Oxford. Most of the people, they all went to Oxford, got degrees, but they went for a two-year course after finishing their degree in India. He's one of the few Indians who did a complete undergraduate course in Oxford and I then joined the ICS. And most of his disagreements come across on the fact that he would not tolerate being treated as a second-class citizen by whoever it was, or for that matter, accepting anything that was dishonest. So his jobs all lasted about two years until finally he came back, as he himself says, to his home to take part in what then was called the independence struggle.